Hi everyone, my name is Adrian, and if you've never watched one of my videos before, I really love to empower other mamas to reject the status quo and embrace healthier lifestyle habits. I focus on things like homeschooling and using toxin-free products like essential oils. This video is going to be about homeschooling and kind of this time of year. I can't believe it's December already. This time of year, I really use this time to kind of do like a reset. Uh, so this video, I'm just going to talk about some things that you might want to kind of pause and look at. Uh, for many moms, December is almost at a halfway point and you're starting a brand new year for the following month. So it's just a nice place to kind of stop and reflect. So the first thing I usually do is I organize. Um, throughout the previous months of homeschooling, a lot of our materials and things get kind of helter skelter and it's nice to just take a pause and kind of put everything back where I want it to be because I hate looking for something and not being able to find it. Um, it's just a big waste of time. So it's really important for me that I have all of our materials and supplies organized and I know where, right where they are so I'm not wasting time looking for them. So I organize, um, each, girl, each one of my girls has a bin that has all their supplies in there, so I'll go through that. I might pitch some things in there or replace some things. I'll check our dry erase markers and their pencils and make sure that everything is ready, um, just so I have a cleaner and nicer start for the following um, month or the next time that we homeschool. So that's organizing. Um, I look at our curriculum and I decide kind of what I wanna do from there. If I'm saving parts of their curriculum, it's just kind of like a pause and like just a um, reset, basically. Um, I also analyze. So I look at everything that we've accomplished so far with homeschooling. Did we get where I wanted to go? Am I satisfied with the progress that we have made? Have my kids um, done what I feel is necessary? Because remember, if you're homeschooling, you're the one setting the benchmarks and the goals and you're not really so focused, I'm not really so focused on state standards and keeping up with kids their age, that's not important to me. Um, more important is some kind of progress and growth towards a goal that I deem is important for their development. So we work on lots of different things, not just reading and math. Uh, you want to also think if you completed what you set out to do, because as a homeschooling parent, you may have lots of different goals. Sometimes it's easy to get caught up in the goals and not really step back and analyze and determine if you met any of the goals. Um, you might need to tweak some. You might be able to cross them off and say that they've accomplished this. Is there anything else that I want to have them do for the remainder of the year? So it's nice to have that fresh start and then it's nice to kind of step back and analyze what you're doing. Um, if there's something that's not working, um, what are some ways that you can change it? Or do you need to start looking at different curriculums? Do you need to start looking at different ideas? And I'm getting ahead of myself because the next one is reflect. So after you have analyzed what you've done and what you've accomplished so far, then you want to reflect on how the process has gone for you. Could you make any changes for the better? Do you need to switch curriculums? That is kind of a daunting thing because there are so many curriculums out there now, but if a curriculum's not working, there's no reason to continue using it. Yes, you spent the money on it, and yes, that might hurt a little bit depending on how much you spent, but if, you're, if your child's not connecting with the material and it's becoming a battle every single lesson, is it worth it? And the answer is no. So find something that works for you. Find something that works for your child. Do you like the path that you have set out for yourself for the rest of the year? It's okay to make changes. I will link a video I did on pivot pivoting um, in the description. So reflection is very important. And unfortunately, it's an area that we don't really do a lot of because it, you have to be very intentional to reflect. I have to actually write and schedule things down for myself so I don't forget to reflect. And normally in December, that's kind of my reflecting time because it's just a nice stopping point to kind of assess where we are. Speaking of assess, the next thing I want to talk about is assess. Have your kids mastered some concepts? Are there some things that they need? you need to revisit? Um, maybe there are some skills that they are not on point with where you think they should be. Maybe they are doing awesome in one area and not another. Do you need to have to, do you need to revisit some of your skills or topics that you've already taught and kind of circle back, loop back around to those 
topics or skills so that they can be more comfortable and more confident in their ability to complete whatever it is that you have decided. Then you also, I like to go through and kind of determine what I'm going to keep because you cannot keep everything. Um, we don't do a whole lot of worksheets. Um, there's not really a lot of paper other than the curriculum book that they're using. Um, we do a lot of dry erase, so I don't have a ton of things to go through. And usually when my littles are doing cutting activities, by the time they're done cutting, you don't even know what it was, but it's just that hand and motor skill that we're working on. Um, for my older, she's starting to do some typing, so that's nice because now it's digital files. But if you have a plethora of papers and things that you have just sitting around, um, I would recommend going through and getting rid of what you don't want. It's okay. Um, if you're really heartbroken, you can take pictures of the uh, pages and save them that way. But having piles and piles and piles of completed work just kind of hanging out and laying around, it stresses me out. So I have to pick like my favorite items, my favorite pieces. Like if they um, did an activity that they did really well, or they had really great handwriting, or this was a really fun experience and we wrote about it, I might save those pieces, but I don't save everything because I can't. Um, you might even want to jot down some funny stories of things that came up because as you're doing life and homeschool together, things are bound to come up. Um, maybe you want to save some of their artwork that they did, those kinds of things. Um, I actually worked through an ABC book kind of pages that I made for my littles. Um, so I can drop that link also in the description. Um, it's just tracing and doing a craft with each letter of the alphabet. So hopefully that gave you some ideas. Uh, mainly you're just trying to reset so that you're starting fresh for the following year and it's not, um, it's not a mess when you start back in January if you're taking a Christmas break off of school. So it's just a nice time to stop, take a pause, and just kind of reflect and see where you're going because you wanna make sure that your path is clear and you wanna make sure that you're being purposeful with what you're doing. I hope that gave you some value and some tips.